Hi, hi, hi. Hello, friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is Arif. So I'm going to start a brand new uh, lecture series. So which will where we'll discuss about the Karnataka Power Transmission Corporation Limited, 2017 Assistant Executive Engineer uh, questions and answers here. Right. So very important for those who are preparing for this examination. Okay, this exam is very simple compared to AP Transco and AP Genco, right? So we'll start our first question here. Okay, the first question is a ceiling fan uses. So as you can see, the ceiling fan which are used in home appliances. So here we have one capacitor is there. Okay, so that capacitor is used for only for starting purpose. So option here it is the capacitor start motor. So now you can ask a question. So where we'll use capacitor start and capacitor and motors? As you can see a diagram here in which we have auxiliary winding and main winding. So here we have two capacitances. One is for running condition. Second one is for starting condition. Okay. So in case of capacitor start motors, there is no capacitor for running conditions. So where we want the power factor. So for power factor improvement, we will use this uh, starting uh, sorry, running capacitance. Okay. Now next question. So option, option for the question is C here. So next question. High frequency transformer sometimes make use of ferrite core because it has high hysteresis. So sometimes, not always, okay, sometimes make use of the ferrite core. Generally, for a silicon steel laminations, as you can see here, the ferrite core is having a less area. Okay, so less area is preferable. So more the area means more will be losses. So more here, so more losses. And this hard steel is used for making permanent magnets. So so as we can expect this type of questions in 2019 okay so hard steel is used for making permanent magnets remember this okay next one third question is from the measurement subject the percentage limiting error in the case of instrument reading 8.3 volts with a 0 to 150 volt meter having a guaranteed accuracy error of 1% full scale reading is so what is the meaning of this one here it is actually so guaranteed accuracy error so how much it is it is going to be one one percent so one percent of 150 volts so 150 volts one percent of 150 means one by 100 how much it is it is going to be 1.5 volts the meaning it is whatever the reading you can make so it is going to show an error of 1.5 volts so what we want so we want the error the percentage error so so for the formula here is 1.5 this is the error divided by what is the full scale it is 8.3 so into 100 so if you do this calculations the answer will be 18.1 percent is the answer for this question here so next question here this question is asked from the induction machines the frequency of the rotor current in a three phase 50 hertz four pole induction motor at a full load speed is about so full load speed is about we need to calculate so first we will take ns is equal to 120 f by p okay so here they didn't mention anything about the frequency frequency mentioned no, not about the poles okay okay poles are given sorry so 120 into frequency is 50 divided by 4 so it is going to be 50 and rpm now what we need to found we need to found the rotor frequency so formula for this one is f r is equal to s into f s so here we need to find what is the value of supply frequency here okay you need to find slip here sorry slip so generally slip is about two to four percent of its full load value now so if we take it is a two percent two to four percent means the options will be so two by hundred we are taking percentage into fifty if you take four percent four into fifty by hundred so here you will get so this will be one hertz and this will be how many hertz here so it is going to be two edges so among the options it is two edges so here they didn't give the value of yes so but we need to choose the value so by choosing this value 
only we can get the answer otherwise you won't get the answer here so remember this this type of questions are important okay so next question here the relative speed between the magnetic fields of the stator and the rotor under steady state condition or operation is a zero for so the relative speed between the magnetic field of the stator so if we take a stator here okay and we will take rotor here inside this one okay now the relative speed between the difference between the speeds here okay so this is a flux creating one speed here and the rotor is creating some other speed here so they should be always in phase okay now the max stator under steady state condition is zero for all the electrical machines except transformers so the answer here it is dc machine synchronous machine three phase induction machine okay so this is under steady state condition it will be zero next question which of the following is not the three fundamental methods of firm valuation okay so this is the discounted cash flow income or earning so where the film is evaluated on some multiple of accounting income or earnings so balance sheet where the firm is valued in terms of its assets and this market share so here market share is the answer for this question we'll move to next question so next question here the seventh question a byte represents a group of how many bits so it is generally eight bits so this is a question from the computer basics right next question uh, a 1 is to 5 step up transformer has a 120 volts across the primary 600 ohms resistance across the secondary assuming 100 percent efficiency the primary current equals to so let's take this problem here we have one transformer winding is there and there is a secondary winding is like this and here we have a resistor of 600 ohms and the primary voltage is 120 volts it is a 1 is to 5 ratio of the transformer okay now so what will be the voltage of this secondary winding here we know the relationship e2 by e1 is equal to n2 by n1 so here e2 is equal to n2 is 5 is to 1 into how much e1 so e1 means 120 volts how much it is 600 ohms so 600 volts sorry 600 volts let me correct here it is 600 volts e2 what you are getting here it is it is 600 volts here okay what about the e2 is no so what about the i2 here so i2 is equal to there is no phase displacement where because the is a, load is raised to e2 by r2 so how much it is 600 by 600 it is a 1 ampere here okay now what they asking the primary current so primary current equals to so for finding the primary current so i1 by i2 is equal to n2 by n1 so from this i1 is equal to n2 is a 5 divided by 1 into i1 so i1 we got as a 1 ampere so 5 into 1 means it is 5 amperes the answer here it is c is the right answer for this question okay so next question we'll see the next question so this question is nullified that means those who written the explanation they will get one extra mark for this question next one the in the introduction of interpoles in between the main pole improves the performance of the dc machine because the counter emf is induced in the coil undergoing computation so what is the meaning of this one so in uh, dc machines we will use suppose here we have one pole and here also we have one pole here like this so in between we will use the interpoles here so interpoles here interpoles here so what it's going to do so the interpoles are going to do here it is here it is going to produce an a counter emf is induced in the coil undergoing computation here so here it's going to produce a computation in this case here the answer is for this one is a so next question uh, a okay right so a 220 by 440 volts 50 hertz 5 kva single phase transformer operates on 220 volts 40 hertz supply 
with the secondary winding is open circuited so there is no current flowing in the secondary winding open circuited here now what will be the losses so generally a t current losses proportional to maximum of flux density square into f square history's losses is proportional to bm to the power of 1.6 into f generally what we are doing is here we are reducing the frequency so if only condition here it is if this b max is a kept constant so so b max is kept constant so remember this condition here if the b max is kept constant means the ratio of v by f is kept constant at that time only a t current losses and history is losses both are reducing but in this given case it is 220 volts 50 hertz 220 volts 40 hertz that means automatically what will happen so if we v by f ratio is not constant means automatically a d current losses will be independent okay independent of the frequency so a d current losses will be remain same but the history of losses will increase so this is the actual answer if the v by f ratio is not constant but if the v by f ratio is a constant the answer will be a okay so remember next one the speed of dc shunt motor at no load is so what is the meaning of this one is the speed of the dc shunt motor will be reduced like this okay so the reduction in the speed of the dc motor is almost 5 to 10 percent of its full load capacity that means reduction will be 5 to 10 percent actual speed will be it will be 85 to 90 percent of the no load speed only so this is slight decrease here so this will be 5 to 10 percent of full load the answer is a here and uh, as you know the simple concept in computers a computer virus is the hardware a computer program a client server a read only memory so as you know virus is created by the computer program okay so the answer here it is at b so thank you friends if you like my video please subscribe and share and comment hope you are preparing well and my video lectures is going to be help you for your preparation thank you have a nice day